Hey guys, what is up? So if you're new to my channel, my name is Jennifer Montoya and I make theater related videos like this one. So for today's video, I have this super easy, just everyday makeup tutorial and it's perfect for going to school, going to work. It's really easy and it's super quick. So if you guys would like to see how I created today's look, then please keep on watching. Normally the very first thing I like to start off with is some moisturizer. The moisturizer I like and I've been using a lot is the Studio Moisture Fix. It's really light, it has a really nice scent to it. So it's just been the one that I've been kind of gravitating towards. So now we're going to start off with our eyebrows. I really love using this Anastasia Dip Brow. I find it super easy. Okay guys, and I do apologize for the fan. It's super hot today. so. Sorry that that's in the background. If you want a more detailed tutorial on how I do my eyebrows, I have an eyebrow tutorial and I'll be linking that down in the section below and also in the info card. I'm going to clean up my eyebrows and I'm going to be going in with my MAC concealer. So now I'm going to be going in and priming my face. I'm going to be using Smashbox Photo Finish. This one is in Luminizing. It has this really pretty kind of like rose gold um, kind of like sheen to it. I really like it underneath my foundation. And now I'm going to go into my foundation. For a very everyday look, I really love this MAC Face and Body. It is super lightweight. It's water-based and, you know, it just it's perfect for an everyday look for anything that's you know, where you don't want to look caked up. So I'm just going to apply some to the back of my hand and I'm going to be using a beauty blender. One of my favorite concealers to use is this Urban Decay's Naked Skin. It's super lightweight. It blends into the skin very seamlessly and it just looks natural and super beautiful. So that's going to be what I'm going to be using today. I'm just going to apply some underneath my eyes I don't use so much foundation so I think it's kind of okay for me to go in heavier with some of the other things so now I'm just gonna blend that out using my beauty blender again I still kind of have some pink coming through so I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna apply some concealer and I'm gonna use my finger just so that it's a little bit more concentrated right there. Okay, so for my under eyes, I like using a little combo. I normally always use the Kat Von D Lock It. And I also use this MAC Prep and Prime CC and I use the Color Correcting. I just like to kind of dab a little bit of both. The Color Correcting is a little bit more on the peachier tone. So I kind of first like I'll first dab into a little bit of this and then just a tiny bit of this one and I kind of mix everything into one of the lids. Oh and then this sponge is the Morphe highlighting one. So the combo I use right underneath my eyes and then to kind of set the rest I go into only the Kat Von D locket. So for the rest of my face I like to use this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color medium and I also use this Morphe Y1 brush. And I just, I'm going to very lightly set the rest of my face. The next thing I normally do is I'll go in and I start kind of warming up my face. And for that, it's my all time favorite Hula Bronzer. And I use this smaller Morphe R14 brush. And I go into it and I'm gonna start just warming up my face. I like concentrating the product closer up to my ears and then kind of just like blending down a little bit with whatever is left on the brush and for kind of like an everyday look. I normally don't go in and do like a very harsh nose contour or anything. So sometimes I like to just use this brush or just like any little fluffy eyeshadow brush. You see what I'm doing? I'm just focusing it right underneath my brow bone, this little portion of it I'm just kind of blending downwards okay so it's super light you know it's not very intense at all and 
just to kind of blend it out, I'm going to go back in with this larger brush and just kind of bring it on down both sides of my nose. I normally like to go in with my highlighter first and then I'll add my blush afterwards. So for an everyday look, I love this little glow kit. Um, and then for highlighting, I'm really loving this Morphe Y14. It's it's very small, so you can kind of get into you know the crevices. And so I really like using smaller brushes for applying my highlighter. I feel like I have more control over everything. So if you feel like you can't really use a fan brush or if you feel like you're going everywhere, I would really recommend using a smaller brush, something similar to this. Okay, and I'm just going to mix a little bit of Moonstone and Summer. I'm just going to apply this to the very tops of my cheekbones. And I'm going to blend it upwards. I'm going to apply some up here, just where the light naturally catches. And then some other places I like to highlight, I like to highlight down the bridge of my nose a little bit, the tip of my nose, and then also on the cupid's bow. Just lightly right above the cupid's bow. It kind of already like gives you the like, you know, just kind of pouty, which I think is super cute. And then for the other two portions, I like to just go in and use my finger. So just on this little portion right here. And that's normally how I highlight. Um okay, so now I'm gonna finish everything off with the blush. So for blush. I'm gonna go back into my Cheekathon palette. For my everyday, I really like going into Dallas. It's another, it's a really pretty dusty rose. If you've been watching my channels, I'm obsessed with Dallas. It's my everyday go-to. And I'm gonna start applying that to my cheeks. Okay, so I normally like to just go right above where I warmed up and kind of contour my cheeks a bit. So like right there. And I'm gonna kind of blend upwards just so that it blends the highlighter with my contour and everything just kind of mixes and I really like that look. So for an everyday look, I don't really like to do much of an eye thing. So normally I just like to add some bronzer. So I'm going to be going in to Hoola and I'm just using my Stila blending brush and I'm going to start applying it to my crease. And then this kind of just carves out your eyes a little bit more and just kind of brings everything together. I also kind of like to bring it down here just so that I get almost a nicer kind of like, like winged out look. So that's what I kind of like to go for. Okay guys, so I completely apologize. So my camera stopped recording on me but I'm gonna just tell you guys what I did. So at first in my crease, I only had my bronzer and I kind of brought it down lightly to my lid. And then I went back into Dallas, which is the color that I used for blush and I kind of added that to my crease. You know what, I can actually do that for you just a little bit, just so that you guys see what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to Dallas just lightly. I'm just kind of adding this to my crease like so. And this is just gonna kind of bring everything together. And then I went in with my favorite mascara, which is Lancome's Hypnos. And I added this to my top and bottom lashes. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some lip moisturizer. The one I've been loving is this Coconut Mango Lip Balm by Sprouts. It is so nice, I've been loving it. So I'm just gonna apply that to my lips. Let me bring my mirror closer. It's just, it's very nice and like moisturizing, so I've just been loving it. The lip liner I'm going to be using is Max Boldly Bare. I actually found this at a cosmetics company outlet store, and I think I must have got it. I must have gotten it for like eight bucks, which is a complete steal. I've been obsessed with this. This is like the only lip color that I've been using lately. So I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna line my lips with this. that is it since I added that lip balm underneath it it just makes this lip cramp this lip pencil just go on super smoothly over top and it's just 
I just think it's really pretty. It's a very nice kind of nudie pink. It's very natural. So for today, I'm just gonna use this Mario Badesco. And then this is gonna kind of help, you know, keep your makeup on all day. Okay guys, so that pretty much sums up today's video. I hope you guys found this video informative. If you did, then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all of your support and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.